Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When I was a kid, in my you know ignorance, naivete, what I was hearing, you know, whatever uh, people were talking around me, I thought that um, certain individuals, political figures, or military figures, who took refuge in the United States of America after they tried something in their own country. Uh, were going to United States for protection because United States of America was the uh, beacon of democracy, freedom, and they were protecting, you know, whomever was uh, uh, looked after, you know, by the bad people. So I thought, okay, this guy wants to be a good person in his country, and the bad people attack him and try to take care of him, to kill him, he would run and will take refuge in the United States of America and the United States of America will protect that person because the United States of America is good. That's how I thought. I didn't know that that guy was on the payroll of the United States of America most of the time. Therefore, the failed whatever <laughs> was uh, those guys that are about to grab, grab him and cut his balls off. Therefore, he went back to his paymasters. So this is the case with Venezuela. And we have this Guaido, I think his name, Guaido, Juan, Juan Guaido. So that guy, uh, I can smell it. I can smell it that that guy was a CIA asset, or at least he was promoted by the Americans to take care of Maduro and Venezuela, bring it uh, back to where it belongs, right? Uh, get back to where you belong, where you belong. Is that the Beatles song? All right, so get back. I think it's a song. So I think I know. So here we have um, Russia today and is telling us that Venezuela grew some balls now because uh, Mr. Maduro spoke with Putin. Mr. Maduro uh, wants to be in BRICS. Mr. Maduro uh, went and visited China. So I think his balls are so big that he can't roll them behind him. Yeah, he's just push them in front of him. All right. So let's see what's going on here. We have this article from Russia today. October 6, 2023. Venezuela issues arrest warrant for failed coup leader. Where is he? Where do you think he is? I just said it at the beginning. He is in the land of the free and the land of the brave, right? Yeah. So Juan Guaido fled to Miami. Miami, Florida? For Miami, Russian Federation. <laughs> Earlier this year, after three of four Venezuelan opposition factions deserted him. Well, he went back to where he belongs, right? Venezuela issued a warrant, arrest warrant, for failed coup leader Juan Guaido on Thursday, accusing Washington's hand-picked opposition leader for treason, usurping state functions and embezzling state money. Attorney General Terek William Saab announced that Caracas has also sought an Interpol red notice against Guaido, who stands accused of mis mismanaging public funds under control of his interim government, quote unquote, specifically the formerly state run fertilizer company Monomeros, Monomeros and formerly state owned oil company Citgo Petroleum. So his cabinet's irresponsible financial decisions cost Venezuela $19 billion. I'll give it to Ukraine. According to Saab, who claims Guaido has used state oil money for his own benefit, including to pay his legal fee bills. That means he's got a lot of money somewhere stashed. A federal appeals court in Delaware earlier this year a appeared to confirm those claims, finding Guaido's interim, go interim government has used money from state oil company Petroleos de Venezuela as a to finance his own debts. I don't think he's going to be um, extradited. Do you think? How much? For, let's say from 0 to 100. 100% yes, 0 no, negative 100. Let's put it negative 2. How much do you think Guaido is going to be extradited? I, anyway, so currently living in exile in Miami, Guaido denounced the warrant on Thursday as part of machine of promoting lies of a dictatorship. Uh, that's old news with the dictatorship garbage. We already knew that. We know it and that's it. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, claiming that 
he was being physically and morally persecuted. Oh, you vey. After he was elected president of Venezuela's opposition-controlled National Assembly in 2019, Guaido declared President Nicolas, Nicolas Maduro's own re-election fraudulent and anointed himself, holy moly, like Napoleon, interim president of the country. Ah, enjoying the full support of the US and served several of its allies in the Western Hemisphere and Europe, he gained control of Venezuela's international bank accounts, including those of some state-run industries. However, multiple subsequent attempts to trigger a popular uprising and dislodge the socialist government failed, costing Guaido most of his political support at home and his credibility abroad. No, he didn't control the oil. And these guys won the oil. So if he would have controlled the whole thing over there, uh, then these guys would say, okay, Maduro, you can stay over there with your ladies of the night, play the president, whatever you want to do. Just let us uh, do business here and take your oil and off. Basically, they don't care, man. These guys, these guys are pragmatic. These guys are pragmatic. Those, when they talk about ideologies and they talk about uh, human rights, this is just a means to an end. And why? See how many tyrants these guys, Al Capone, uh, supported, and they didn't give a shit who's over there. I'm gonna give you one example, and I think I can give you more. But I'm gonna give you, I can give you two. They're very close to one another. One is uh, what's his name? Reza Pahlavi. Pahlavi. I'm sorry, Pahlavi of Iran. You remember that guy? All right. Well, that guy was uh, brought in in power again. His uh, little thing. In what, in 1954, after CIA and uh, the Brits overthrew uh, Mozambique, is that what his name was? The Prime Minister, what was it, 54, uh, 53, when the guy Mozambique, the Prime Minister, nationalized the uh, uh, oil? This guy say, oh, hold on, hold on, we're going to intervene. And placed what's his name, Pahlavi. Reza Parlapurli Kakapakapaka. So he was in charge until he was 79, when the guy from Paris, came over and took over, which was what? Uh, Ayatollah Khomeini, right? How in the hell? They all come from Paris or from New York and that guy conducted an, uh, an, a revolution from Paris and then he just flew from Paris to Tehran to take over? Unbelievable. Hey, I remember another guy, his name was, oh yes, uh, Lenin. Yes, Lenin. Lenin came from Switzerland with a train and during the First World War, straight to St. Petersburg. Everybody was stop, stop, stop. Lenin is uh, crossing over. And another guy was coming from New York. Remember the guy? What was his name? Trotsky? Ben Stein? Was he coming from New York? He was coming from New York, right? There you have it. So, Anyway, my friends, he was coming from there. And again, with the bankers and all that, all these guys. So all of a sudden, they don't care. They don't care. And the other example is Saudi Arabia. I mean, you can call Saudi Arabia a democracy. No, but they didn't care. You're our partner. You're my partner. You're my man. You give me oil. You let our armies over there. You're my hand. Okay, we're good. You don't do what I tell you. You bad. And now we're good again. The same guy could be bad and good. <laughs> it just depends how the wind blows, my friends. This is the, uh, they call it ruled-based world order, the Americans. Okay. So here it is. Uh, Guaido, that's what it is. He's going to, uh, uh, last month, <laughs> I didn't read this one. Last month, Guaido was hired as a visiting professor and senior leadership fellow at Florida International University's Adam Smith Center for Economic Freedom. Economic freedom? He, didn't he fuck up like 19 billion dollars? <laughs> yeah, I guess he's the right fox in charge of the chicken coop. All right. Uh, for conducting eight, eight study group sessions, mentoring students in how to and making appearances at the school's public conferences and seminars during the fall semester. He will receive $40,000. I don't think so. But anyway, as a fellow professor, probably. So anyway, my friends, the um, Guaido is out. And remember, in Egypt, when they met, it was Macron and uh, yeah, it was uh, Maduro. Macron called Madu Macron called Maduro el president, il president. They shook hands. 
what the hell was that uh was in egypt i can't remember but anyway uh about a year ago they met on the hallways and hey president i want your oil yes call me call me i got some ladies of the night some pink champagne and some dark chocolate <laughs> anyway my friends here it is guaido is gonna stay in the states of america because the united states of america is the land of the free and it defends free people and guaido is a free person to do whatever he wants good or bad because he's uh, by the good ones <laughs> stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just